Hey, hey, this is Rick from Tribe Secrets, and I'm going to show you how we build engaging online communities where you can make five figures per month using tribal psychology. So we're going to show you how to turn your course or coaching business into steady recurring revenue while working only a few hours per week using with a tribe business. So it's kind of like a new freedom business model for coaches, because imagine waking up and checking your emails as we do, and you can see new members have joined overnight and you got Stripe in emails in the inbox to show that you're getting paid every day. Or sipping your morning coffee, liking and commenting on the engagement that's already posted in your community, because you don't have to sit on Zoom calls all day, so you can just chill and organize your calendar however you want. Strip your calendar down to only one or two coaching calls per week so you can buy back your time and explore life beyond the laptop. We're put on this earth to do more than just sit in the Zoom room all day. We didn't get into business to take sales calls with freebie seekers or drain our energy on long coaching calls or fill our calendar up so we have no time left for ourselves or the projects we actually want to work on. It feels like we're just giving all of our time away to other people which is why we got into this business. We want to help people, but not at the expense of ourselves or our time or our fulfillment and passion and all those other good things. So you can change lives and make an impact and make really good money without doing one-on-one -on -one coaching calls and sales calls all the time. Because if you can change someone's life over a Zoom call, then there's a good chance you can change a bunch more people's lives through a group coaching community model. And you can do it without losing results, revenue and fulfillment, working only a few hours per week, just supporting your members. You can create one signature coaching program that generates results almost on autopilot without sacrificing revenue because happy customers become perfect leads for your high ticket coaching. They want to buy more products and programs from you. They want to pay to stick around and they tend to tell their friends. So that's how you can turn one transaction into many transactions without sacrificing the revenue and the high ticket opportunities that you're probably attracted to with coaching. So you don't have to lose the ability to get incredible transformations or results and testimonials either because you support your members through live group coaching calls, hangouts, Q and A's, and you can do that whenever you feel like it. So it's not up to your clients setting your calendar for you. Uh, and you have a whole community of members that get to support your members with you and for you. So it's not all on yourself to help people feel supported and get results. Leverage, right? So you don't have to beg your clients for testimonials either, which is so common. Uh, and so you can just screenshot the UGC, the user generated content that happens in your community organically all the time and just screenshot them paste them on your sales page, put them in your marketing, because with a community, these things just pop up organically. And that helps you grow your business from the inside out because studies show people who look at UGC, when people automatically put in user-generated content in your Facebook or your school or whatever, when they can see that it's somebody else that wrote it, that converts at a 161% higher rate than people who don't see UGC, right? So it sells, but the problem is, that all sounds really good, but most communities aren't like that, right? They're full of crickets and lurkers. They lack engagement. They lack connection. They lack results, and they struggle to replace their high-ticket income because it's a ghost town. Nobody wants to be there. Nobody wants to buy. Nobody wants to belong. And you don't want to waste your time building a ghost town, only talking to yourself in the group, and you, don't, you want to build something meaningful that people actually want to buy from and belong to, right? So that's why we say don't build a community, build a tribe. Just like Funk here, Funk Roberts, online fitness trainer for men over 40, really good at what he does. Pretty popular in his space, 700,000 YouTube subscribers. And when he launched his membership site with a, his best content, a community full of people to support each other and create that brotherhood, people just didn't want it. He knew how to build effective programs that could get great results for men over 40, but he didn't know how to build an online experience that people actually wanted to belong to. So there's no conversation, there was no connection, there was no pulse, and he was getting so many cancellations and chargebacks that he actually had to just shut it down and refund everybody. So this is a, one of his many dispute letters from his merchant account, which he said he just got tons of these letters in the mail of his merchant saying like, yo, these people, they're just like charging back their, their payments. Whatever you're doing, people don't want it, and it just looks shady and spammy and the merchant account doesn't like it obviously funk just wants to help people and that wasn't working so you need to try something different 
two years later, after we got together and rebuilt this thing, then Funk had a tribe of brothers getting it done together. They meet up offline. They buy lifetime access. They want the merch, the supplements, the other programs. They want to tell their friends and their mechanics. And we did over a million dollars in under two years because we introduced tribal psychology that made his members want to actually pay and stay and belong to the tribe because they value the connection to the community and the people as much or more than the content that they're paying for. So you can see this is us in Florida at Funnel Hacker Live accepting our two comic club award. And this is Stripe proof to show $1.2 million in 18 months and 12,000 new customers. Exciting stuff. So the secret to success is manufacture belonging. People want to belong. We just need to show them how. Because belonging is attraction. Humans are social creatures wired for belonging. We want to buy from businesses that give us a sense of connection and in belonging. And it's an ex existential need that will always be profitable. According to a study by Cigna, Nearly half of Americans feel lonely at 46% or left out at 47. So good chance half the population is just lonely. Gen Z, Gen Z is the loneliest at 48.3, but baby boomers at 45, it just shows everybody's lonely and they're looking for something and a place to connect with people like themselves. So that's why this is an attractive business model for customers, which helps you get customers. And belonging is connection. Studies show that the more a customer feels connected to a brand emotionally, the more they will spend with that brand. So a study by Motista showed that emotionally invested customers have a lifetime value that's 306% higher than brands who don't have that emotional connection. And belonging is retention. So Harvard Business Review in the benefits of belonging study, then they found that Customers who feel a strong sense of community with the brand are three and a half times more likely to repurchase and rebuy. They're four and a half times more likely to recommend and refer, and they're 2.8 times more likely to continue using and buying from that brand over time. So what this means, according to a Bain and Company study, if you just increase retention by 5%, then that can change your profits by 25 to 95%. So a little bit of increased retention means a lot of increased revenue. And ultimately, belonging equals freedom because we can leverage tribal psychology to attract the right customers, get them to take action and get results and form real connections with their fellow tribe members so they want to pay and stay for life, which allows us to talk about what we love, choose who we hang out with, change a bunch of lives while only working a few hours per week supporting the tribe. Happy days, which freedom is all we've been chasing since we were 18 years old. We are 30, I say we, I have a twin brother behind Tribe Secrets. And so since we were 18, we're 34 now, we've been chasing freedom. And we chose online marketing as our path to creating time and financial freedom. So we could work anywhere, work on what we want with clients we want to work with. And it just would never feel like we're working. 10 years later, we were still working harder and longer and earning less than all of our friends who just had jobs and who were employed. And we thought we would have a fast track, have a better opportunity, a better life if we understood online marketing. But that just caused us to struggle harder. So eventually we got fired from our biggest client, losing 85% of our revenue over Christmas time, which hella sucked. Uh, and you can see we're typically living in cheap Asian uh, or Mexican hostels. So this is us grinding away at 9 p.m. in Thailand because we didn't have money to afford, you know, the house and the cars and the stuff living in Canada. So we would just live abroad and live cheap as we were trying to figure this thing out. So we had a rock bottom realization that we can't keep trying to get better at marketing. That just isn't working. We need to figure out how to make our clients more marketable, right? Maybe it's not our fault. Maybe the client is just repelling customers. So we wanted to figure out a system creating something that people actually wanted to buy from and buy repeatedly because we, we were tired of chasing new customers all the time. Every time you want to get paid, you had to hunt down new customers. And that's just really hard to do these days. Marketing is hard and it changes all the time. So we wanted to build something, figure out a system to build something that people actually wanted to buy from. And we knew there was some businesses out there that had customers that just seemed to want to throw their hard earned money at them. While the rest of us just struggle for a sale, struggle for a click, struggle for a like, struggle for attention. So we want to know why. 
we studied seven to eight figure cult brands to see why they naturally attract buyers. We studied cults and movements to see how they influence people to give up their money and give up their entire lives to these arbitrary rules. We started studying neuroscience and human behavior to understand what makes humans do what they do, how we make decisions, and how we can apply that to online customer attraction and retention. So what we found is humans are algorithms. Most of our actions and behaviors are subconscious programs. So we're not even aware of the things that we do. 95% of all our brain activity, they say is subconscious. So that means your customer's brain is designed to make them safe, not successful, because we are wired for change. We are not wired for change. We are wired for comfort. And this is why course completion rates suck. Most courses only have three to 10% course completion rates. Under 10% of people are actually finishing and getting results because people are programmed to not buy from another guru on the internet, to not take uncomfortable action, no matter how bad they actually want this thing that they bought from you, and to not engage in a group full of strangers. That means 90% of people are lurkers who only buy once and then bail, and it costs five times more to replace a customer than to keep one. So that's why. I mean, we want to keep customers for life. So that's why we work with the subconscious rather than against it. That way we can shift customer behavior to join the tribe, engage in the community, take action, get results, because that's what it's all about. So your customers are wired for tribal belonging. Humans are social creatures, right? We've survived this long because of our tribal psychology that's designed to find and connect with others who are like ourselves to find safety in numbers. And since your customer's actions are controlled by the subconscious to keep them safe, then we can leverage this tribal psychology to work with their subconscious, create a sense of connection and belonging. So they want to buy from you, want to belong to your tribe. And this is what cults and cult brands and movements and all of those people who are killing it and really good at getting people to part with their money, part with their lives, part with their loved ones, all these things. It's because they understand how to unify and rally a group of strangers on the internet. Your customers want belonging more they want more than they want anything else you or your competitors could ever sell them. Belonging is a fundamental human need like food and shelter, and there will always be a market for this. So the future of marketing isn't about what you can sell. It's not about all these new trends or funnels or products or whatever. It's about creating a sense of community and belonging. Because businesses that can do that can sell their customers anything, no matter the price. So. Here's our framework for using this tribal psychology to build engaging online communities that people actually want to belong to. And all you need to build your own five or six figure per month tribe business that gets engagement, results, and referrals is a niche or a niche if you're Canadian like me, a course or a coaching program, and a community. Simple. So let's break it down for you. Your tribe niche. You can't build a strong community with the wrong customers. Makes sense. So we want to choose one specific customer to build our tribe for, and this allows us to attract the right customers and repel the outsiders. So we want this customer to, customer to be as similar to us as possible because humans are wired to find and belong to groups of people similar to themselves. That's the whole tribal psychology piece is about similarity. Like attracts like. Birds of a feather flock together, right? So the more similarity between you and your niche, the more they feel like your tribe is for people like them. And the more similar similarity there is between them and your fellow members, all the other customers you've already put into your tribe, the more similarity they have in there, the more likely they are to engage in the community, engage with each other because these are their people too. And since we do what people like us do, that's the whole tribal psychology that's how the subconscious works we do what people like us do so therefore we're more likely to take action in a group setting in a community because we see others like ourselves doing it too herd mentality baby and so the riches are really in the niches anyways people are making thousands per month selling all kinds of things we got sobriety sisters making twenty three thousand dollars a month woodworking making sixteen thousand dollars per month and Forex for women making $116,000 per month. So even if you're so niche that you can only serve one in a million customers, that's 8,000 perfect customers out there. And if you sold them at $27, $27 per month, 
then that's 216K you'd be collecting every single month. And we're talking niche, niche. So also the more niche you are, the more your members value their membership to the tribe because it makes them feel more interesting, more unique and seen really. So that's why we wanna have one specific customer to build our tribe for. And then we take them through your tribe content. So your core content, your coaching program, your course or whatever, um, this is the one transformational journey that all members go on. It's that same mission, one specific customer, one specific result. And this creates more similarity between members because they all go through the same struggles, the same wins, the same process as each other. So that creates more similarity. And then that creates more similarity in your testimonials because as you see the same types of people saying the same thing, then those people on the front end who feel like they also belong are gonna have no question that this is the right for them. Just because you can solve a problem for someone doesn't mean they want you to solve that problem. So this makes sure that the right people have no question that your tribe is for them and they wanna buy from you. So to get this result that we promise, then we need to define what the rituals are that we do. Because if you're getting them to uh, go through a coaching or course or some type of program where they want some outcome, then there's gonna be work involved. And when we call those actions rituals, then it gives meaning to the otherwise mundane and hard actions we want them to take. So we get them bought in, they adopt the behaviors, they adopt the social norms of the group, and the rituals become engagement so that your community practically runs itself. We don't want to have to continually prod and pull and ask questions. By creating rituals out of the action steps, then it feeds the group for us. So then we just need to respond and nurture. Because people want to be told what to do. As much as we think we don't, people want to be told what to do. So we just need to tell them. Most communities don't tell their members how to belong. So it's our job to teach them how to behave to achieve the result that they want, the result that they paid you for, and how to belong to the community so they engage long enough to get results. How to behave, how to belong. So that's what the content allows you to do. And then the community, this is where we bring our customers together to connect and belong. This is the heart of a tribe. This is the reason community is so successful. So this is where they post the rituals as they go through the journey together. And studies show that two people doing the same thing creates pro-social bonding and stronger emotional connection to each other. So as we intensify similarity in the group, then we're forming stronger emotional connections to the tribe, which makes it a lot harder for them to cancel because they don't want to lose their progress. They don't want to lose their status amongst the other members in the group if they've been in there for a while or they've got results that other members have seen them get. This status is meaningful to us, so we don't want to lose that by canceling. We also would lose our connections to the other people like us as we're forming real connections, then it makes it harder to want to uh, cut those off, right? And they'll lose their association to the group identity. So leaving the tribe is like losing a part of themselves. So the more we can create these strong connections, the more they value the community and the members more so than just the content. Because most people think they have to have all this brilliant content always recurring in order to keep people but we really want to keep people based on the community vibe itself, which is why we need to make sure we have the right customers coming in in the first place. It's easier to keep people out than kick people out. So we want to maintain our tribe vibe by having the right people come in, go through the same experience and document the rituals together. And that's how we unify strangers and make it so they want to pay and stay for life. And this is really how we change human behavior, right? Because we need to get customers out of their own way because when customers come in, they're trying to accomplish or achieve something that they've never had. So that means they need to do stuff they've never done. And we know customers are wired for comfort and not change. They're wired for safety, not success. So we need to get them out of their own way and operating as a new identity, right? And so that's how we can use this to change their human behavior, do what we need them to do and create happy customers because happy customers are the ones who want more they want to buy your higher ticket coaching options. They want to buy your other products, your other programs. They tell you what they want so you don't have to guess and make it up and hope that you have customers or hope it's easier to sell, hope you make some money. These people literally tell you what they want. So that's how you can build a tribe and grow with the tribe rather than build products and try to sell them. These people also want to rep the merch so they become walking billboards and you can unlock 
another revenue stream by creating t-shirts and hats and stuff like that. They want to pay to stick around and, you know, retention is what it's all about in this community business. So the more we can get happy customers, the more they're going to want to pay to stay and the more likely they are to support other members. So we have free su support agents, community support, ambassadors, stuff like that, which is really important for new members coming into the group. And then they naturally want to tell their friends. So referrals, free growth. When people have a good experience with somebody with a business, then they're more likely to tell people about it. And since we were saying birds of a feather flock together, so your perfect customers are already hanging out with your perfect customers. So when we can get happy customers, then we can five times the LTV of that initial sale. And ultimately, this is how you create enough belonging that members want to get your brand tattooed to their body. So this is Bruce with the over 40 Alpha Brotherhood tattoo. Uh, he went from brand new to branded in only 112 days into the program. So that's saying a lot. So ultimately, this is how you know what to offer to launch your tribe. This is how you know what to say in your marketing to grow your tribe. And this is how you know how to build for belonging so members want to pay and stay for life. Because you don't have to just have one of these. You can have two, three. Funk has five tribes because you can just build something once and nurture them ongoing. It doesn't have to take a lot of time. So once you know how to build for belonging, then you can use this to build multiple products that continue to pay every month. And this is also how you make a bigger impact and generate a ton of uh, transformations and testimonials, which attract more of the right customers and ultimately dominate your own little corner of the internet. Because as you build a reputation for this thing and then have more and more social proof coming in around the same type of people and the same results, then you're just going to be the go-to for that thing. So that's where a community really helps you reinforce and go deeper with that one positioning. So this is the Assassin Academy. We showed how even with a small audience, then you can pull this off because Russell had a very small list and a very niche segment of martial arts, but he had crazy retention once we took his DVDs and turned it into an online experience with a community. Then crazy retention without even touching it in three years. You can see this payment number 43. Um, and people were requesting the merch with the the Red Fist, the brothers of the Red Fist, as they call themselves. So once they latch onto that group identity, then they're going to want to buy the merch to express this group identity. And we can see Russell saying, this is the most engaged my people have ever been, even with mates who have paid over 20K to work with me. Hell yeah. And then we got Chandler. We built the Kettlebell Warrior Academy. So even with low tribe leadership in the group, because he doesn't post or show up, but community members actually show up and lead the people for us. 85% of the people choose to stay every month anyways. Dudes are paying over two years, even though the program's only 13 months long. So they just keep going, keep paying, keep staying. And even when they cancel, then they tell us how good of a program it is. So we've got UGC and screenshotable social proof and testimonials in the cancellation inbox. So that's crazy. So this method is how you can stay in your zone of genius. So you can just talk about what you love all day. Happy days. You can hang out with your kind of people, which you create a business you don't need to run away from. And you can differentiate yourself from everyone else in your industry because no two tribes are the same, right? You're going to have a different problem you solve, a different way you solve that problem, and a different audience that you solve for, right? So once this comes together, then you actually have fun in your business again, right? It's all about freedom. So this is how you build a tribe business to change lives, create a business that you can grow old with, get paid every day without having to spend all day on coaching and sales calls. So if you want to tribe, we'll show you exactly the step-by-step -step process for how we did it inside our 27 tribe secrets book, where we documented 27 different tri tribal psychologic, let me try that again, 27 different tribal psychology secrets that we use to build engaging communities that people actually want to belong to. So the first 11 secrets are all about tribal attraction. So this will show you how to determine your tribe niche, how to subconsciously attract the right customers. So there's an instant sense of connection and belonging to you and your tribe. The next six secrets are all about the tribe experience. So we'll show you how to psychologically motivate members to take action, engage. And so you can get an insane amount of social proof and stories without having to ask and beg for them. And then we'll show you how to intensify the similarity and belonging in the group. So members want to pay and stay for life. So they value that engagement and community and brotherhood. 
maybe more than the content that they signed up for. So that's tribe bonding. Ultimately, you also get a bonus chapter. Each one of these secrets, you'll see how we applied this to Fung's membership to turn it from a failed fitness membership into a seven figure membership and brotherhood. And you can see it in action, everything we did to turn it from zero to $1.2 million in 18 months, attracting 12,000 new customers. So that's seeing is believing, right? So if you can see how we apply it, then you can see how you can apply it. This book got John dancing out of his shoes, saying it performs outperforms $2,000 trainings, best training he ever came across, practically dancing out of his shoes, life-changing, business-changing, and seriously outperforms trainings I spent five hundred dollars to 2000 for. So John wouldn't lie to you. And Steve wishes that he happened upon these secrets years ago. Absolute gold. Would love to know where his business is if he found these secrets a few years ago. So if your customers are human, this can work for you too. Doesn't matter the size of your list or what you offer, how niche your offer is. If your customers are human, they want to belong. And I'm sure you offer something that we can create a belonging community for, right? So grab the book if you're interested in attracting customers for life because the future belongs to those who understand how to unify strangers on the internet. People are never gonna wanna stop belonging. We are wired for it. We ain't going anywhere and neither is this business model. So we're even gonna throw in a bonus training on our proof loop system. So this is exactly how we set up the, the systems and the content to generate testimonials and social proof on autopilot. So you can use those to attract more of the right customers. And you can join our tribe of coaches looking to buy back their freedom with the tribe business. So inside our free Facebook group, then you'll find lots of other free trainings on tribal psychology uh, behind building a community that people actually want to buy from, belong to, and all uh, you know more nuanced ninja secrets. So grab your copy of 27 Tribe Secrets and get, ultimately, it's the clarity you need to start, build, and launch your tribe. So go build your tribe. Your customers are waiting. We'll see you on the other side. Smash that link, grab the book, and we'll see you in the group. Cheers.